name is Luke Twadell, and I work with Dr. Penny in the Penny Research Group. And today we'll be talking about oxygen based analogs of a molecule designed by the Penny Group called Oxy8006. So, uh, as you can hear, see here, this is the molecule Oxy8006, and it's phosphate prodrug salt Oxy8007, which helps with drug delivery to specific tumor areas. Uh, and Oxy8006 is an anti cancer agent, agent uh, inspired by the natural product Colchicine, which we'll talk about. Uh, a little bit later, and it is an inhibitor of tubulin assembly. And so uh, this drug is able to selectively target uh, tumor cells and their tubulin to prevent uh, cell division and tumor growth. So the molecules Oxy-8006 and 7 are built on an indole scaffold and inhibit tubulin binding. And so this right here, this part of the molecule is the indole scaffold. And so uh, this is just one of the parts of the molecule that uh, help with competitive binding uh, at the colchicine binding site. And it also is really helpful because this part uh, below, glows a blue-green color uh, under UV light. Uh, so that helps a lot with identification in TLC plates. So this slide mostly talks about the specifics of microtubule binding. And as you can see in the top here, uh, this is the alpha and beta subunits of microtubules. So microtubules are uh, made up of heterodimers and uh, spiral to help with uh, cell division and chromosome separation. Uh, and so the colchicine binding site is located right in the middle of the alpha beta subunits. And so this oxy 6 molecule operates by interacting with the colchicine binding site. Uh, and I know that this is small, but in this corner over here, uh, right here, you can see a very similar part of colchicine to what uh, our oxy 6 molecule looks like. Uh, it has three different methoxy groups attached to a benzene ring. Uh, and so that is how our molecule works uh, to attach and prevent uh, <clears throat> microtubule formation. So uh, this mechanism, mechanism allows the molecule to act as a VDA, which is a vascular disrupting agent. Uh, which selectively damages existing tumular, tumor vasculature. So VDAs work with anti-angiogenic agents, AAs, uh, that uh, the pair of them both damages existing tumular vas tumor vasculature as well as preventing new tumor vasculature uh, so that the tumor isn't able to regrow. Uh, and so in the Penny Group, we work with both optimization of the synthetic root as well as creating analogs to increase its uh, efficacy as a tubulin binding agent. Uh, so I will be going into my work and analog development. And so uh, earlier this summer, I was doing a literature review looking for potential uh, moieties and functional groups that I could add to our molecule to increase its effectiveness. So noscopene is another natural product that works in microtubule uh, binding inhibition. And uh, this paper went into uh, the oxyam group and how it was able to help in preventing um, microtubule formation. And so uh, this study worked with human glioblastoma cells and showed that uh, there was a significant difference in IC50 value, which is the uh, value at which, uh, the, the concentration at which uh, half of the cells <clears throat> are damaged uh, and result in uh, cell apopt apoptosis or death. And so this spurred on my idea to work with structure, structure activity relationship, SAR, with my molecule uh, to see if I was able to develop an oxygen moiety on oxy 6 to see that if that would increase my molecule's um, effectiveness in tubulin inhibition. So this here is the synthetic route that I used to get to oxy 6 uh, this is something that I worked very closely with the existing uh, doctoral candidates and uh, students in my lab. Uh, and so we started with, uh, as you can see here, 3-hydroxy-4-methoxyacetophenone, which is uh, widely available uh, on <clears throat> uh, places like Sigma Aldrich for purchase. And so we went through several different steps, uh, starting with a protecting group that uh, is necessary to prevent reaction in later steps of my synthesis, uh, so it protects that uh, OH group right there from reaction. 
and converts it to the OTBS group. Uh, and then after that, we had bromination, uh, which allows for the addition of an extra benzene ring to convert to the two phenyl indole. <clears throat> and then later addition uh, that was able to get us to our TBS protected oxyate 006. And so this is where I am mostly working here. Uh, so I like to keep uh, the protecting group on that just makes sure that none of the rest of my molecules reacting when I'm working with analogs. Uh, and this last step is something that I will do later, but TBAF is uh, a <clears throat> reagent that works to remove uh, silicon-based protecting groups like TBS. And so these are just each of the individual steps. So we don't have to spend too much time on these, uh, but you can get uh, a little bit of a bigger picture of what each of them look like. But in synthesis, it's really important to consider uh, your solvent. And so that's something that we'll touch on later with uh, my analog development and why uh, it was a little bit more difficult to work and make sure that uh, <clears throat> I was able to get the conversion that I needed. So these are each of the different steps. This is the bromination step to get to bromoacetophenone and the addition of M anisodyne to get to 2 phenyl and all. And finally, this is the last step that I have personally done uh, to get to our TBS protected oxyate 006 molecule. And uh, we'll do that a little bit later. So <clears throat> this is the, uh, the reaction design that I was able to work with in my lab uh, to create this uh, new oxyme moiety on the oxyate 006 molecule. Um, and so <clears throat> this is a, a known method for ketone to oxyme conversion, uh, but it is mostly used on much smaller molecules that are much less conjugated. And so the conjugation in this molecule that uh, goes all the way throughout this ring and down and all the way uh, through the indole backbone makes uh, the molecule a lot more stable and less reactive. And so it's much more difficult to get a, any conversion. Um, and so <clears throat> instead of using the known reagent um, and solvent methanol, uh, which has a boiling point of about 65 degrees Celsius, uh, we had to transfer into toluene, which has a boiling point of 110.6 degrees Celsius uh, to increase heat and hopefully get a little bit more energy for our reaction. And so this is our last part here. Uh, this is where we are presently in our conversion. Uh, and so this is a output of high resolution mass spectrometry, which shows uh, different parts uh, of <clears throat> our molecule and uh, the masses. And so this very, very small peak here is my product. And these, all of these other peaks are uh, parts of the oxyate 006 protected molecule. And so it's good that we are able to see here that there aren't byproducts, but I'm going to have to work with different catalysts to see if we can increase production of my product. Uh, and hopefully after at some point in this next semester, uh, we'll be able to produce this new analog and send it off to our partner labs for testing. And so this is going into a little bit of future plans as well. I hope to add a hydroxymethyl group and then convert that to oxyme on a different part of the molecule uh, and have that tested as well, but not something that we were able to get into this summer. So this is my acknowledgments. Thank you so much to Dr. Penny and Jenny Venata uh, for all of their help this summer. Uh, Jenny was my lab mentor and uh, she was a huge help in all of my work uh, and a huge help to the thank you uh, to the NIH and CPRIT for funding. Uh, does anyone have any questions?